This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1688, How What You've Got Can Become What You Want, by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Hope you're having a great weekend if you're listening in real time. Welcome back to Optimal Living Daily, or the OLD podcast, where I read to you from some of the best blogs I can find and get permission from, mostly covering personal development and minimalism on this show. We cover a bunch of other topics in the Optimal Living Daily podcast network, which includes four other shows. Definitely subscribe to those if you like this one. But for now, let's get right to today's post and start optimizing your life. How What You've Got Can Become What You Want by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. Airline executive and religious leader Dieter Uchtdorf tells the story of a group of people asked to move a grand piano from a chapel into a cultural hall. A music event was to shortly take place. This proved no easy task. None of these people were professional movers. The piano was awkward and hulking, the doorway narrow. The people shuffled in myriad positions, continuously switching places and attempting different angles of carrying the piano. Nothing worked. Dumbfounded, the group stood around the piano. Then a woman watching from the side said, stand close together and lift where you stand. This seemed far too simple. Yet without many other ideas, it was worth a shot. The group stood close together and lifted where they stood. The piano rose from the ground and moved into the cultural hall as if by its own power. Like this group, most people overcomplicate things. They overcomplicate their lives, goals, and happiness. Happiness becomes the awkward piano and people are scrambling to figure out how to carry it. According to Brendan Burchard, author of The Charged Life, most people's lives resemble a vast field of half-dug holes. They begin digging in one spot in hopes for gold, but after a period of time become disillusioned. Convinced the spot is barren, they look for another spot and start digging. The result? Most people are busy, exhausted, and always left disappointed, ever learning and never able to find the truth. Quote, this is a fundamental irony of most people's lives. They don't quite know what they want to do with their lives, yet they are very active. Ryan Holiday. Lift where you stand. Quote, don't look for the next opportunity. The one you have in hand is the opportunity. Paul Arden. The science of happiness shatters this putrid misconception and approach to life. Gratitude, appreciation. This is happiness. Most people seek what they believe will make them happy. Follow your passion and you'll be happy is the common advice. Yet most people remain unhappy or they're left asking, how do I know what I'm passionate about? the endless search for what will make them happy. In his book, So Good They Can't Ignore You, Cal Newport debunks the myth of chasing passion. Instead, he recommends refining a useful skill. You come to love what you do well. You love what you invest yourself in. You love who you invest yourself in. Your relationships become meaningful as they benefit others. Your skills become meaningful as they serve and benefit others. No investment, no attachment. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Do you see beauty in your present circumstances? Whatever it is you see, that is more a reflection of you than it is your circumstances. Gratitude and appreciation enhance beauty and possibility. I found this to be true as a foster father of three beautiful kids. For the first six months, I didn't want to come home from work. Their monstrous behavior repelled me. I had no empathy and no patience. How did I get myself into this mess where my honest and dark thoughts? Then something changed. I started trying. To quote Mahatma Gandhi, I decided to be the change I wished to see in my world. Knowing my kids weren't going to change, I knew I had to, so I did. I became more thoughtful and creative, more patient and caring. It took a lot longer to reach gold than I bargained for. Only recently has my relationship with one of the children become healthy, but the connection between us is becoming exquisite. Most importantly, I'm seeing this child grow and blossom. I can honestly say I love my children with all my heart. This love was not passive or natural. It was chosen and earned. The same is true of all things in life. If you wanna love your work, invest yourself in it. Become amazing at it. There's nothing more satisfying than doing your best. If you wanna enjoy your relationships, invest yourself in them. If you want a strong and healthy body, invest yourself in it. The only way to happiness is to stop seeking it. Said Viktor Frankl in Man's Search for Meaning, quote, 
For success, like happiness, cannot be pursued. It must ensue, and it only does so as the unintended side effect of one's personal dedication to a cause greater than oneself, or as the byproduct of one's surrender to a person other than oneself, end quote. You wanna be happy? Invest yourself in your craft and those people who matter most. Stop worrying about your own happiness. Stop looking at other pastures for greener grass. Invest in the grass you're standing on. That which you appreciate, appreciates. Jim Rohn has said, quote, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems, wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenge, wish for more wisdom, end quote. When you love what is, you can improve what is. Rather than seeking more, appreciate what you have. Invest in what you have. In his book, The Leader Who Had No Title, Robin Sharma explains that it doesn't matter what your current position is, you could be the bottom of your company. But if you act like a leader now, you'll eventually become the leader. Sadly, most people just complain about their current position. They don't invest, they aren't grateful, they don't appreciate. Be where you are. Quote, when someone says, so what's next? As in, how are you gonna top that? You don't have to have an answer. The answer can be this. Your life doesn't have to be about impressing other people or a successive series of achievements. Ryan Holiday. Dan Sullivan, founder of Strategic Coach, has said, quote, wherever you are, make sure you're there, end quote. This is where you are. Crush this. Enjoy this. The better you are in your current position, the better will be your next one. Don't wait for your circumstances to change. Improve the circumstances you're currently in. Boundless opportunity comes to those who are thriving in their current situation, not for those resentfully wishing things were different. You just listened to the post titled, How What You've Got Can Become What You Want by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. And now is your Wi-Fi struggling to keep up with your streaming, work, gaming, video calling, and more? What about all at once? When you're connected to your world by Wi-Fi, be sure it's the best. Bring your Wi-Fi up to speed with Orbi Wi-Fi 6 from Netgear. Orbi Wi-Fi 6 is the best and latest in Wi-Fi. It covers your entire home with the fastest Wi-Fi for uninterrupted streaming, video calling, and working and learning from home on more devices than ever before in any part of the house. It's Wi-Fi perfectly engineered. Ready for the best Wi-Fi ever? Find out what makes Netgear America's number one choice for Wi-Fi at netgear.com slash best Wi-Fi. That's netgear.com slash best Wi-Fi. And I have that linked in this episode's description. Thank you to Benjamin. I thought that was a powerful post and one to remember. This is one of those posts that doesn't necessarily have an action step, but hopefully serves as a reminder of what's important and to help get us out of that trap and way of thinking. It might've caught you at the right time or maybe one you can mentally store in your arsenal for when that thinking pattern does arise. In either case, hopefully helpful for you. But I'll leave it at that. Hope your weekend is off to a great start if you're listening in real time. Thank you for being here and listening to me and for subscribing to the show. I'll be back tomorrow reading to you where your optimal life awaits.